this presentation, I'm going to introduce you to TEDS for Word and give you some practical tips on how you can use some of the key features. Most users actually start with a standalone version of TEDS, and in many cases, this provides everything they need. There's an extensive range of design calculations covering various design topics, and all of which provide high quality professional output. And there's also a project manager that helps you to organize those calculations for a specific project. However, there may be some areas where you want more control and flexibility, such as the option to add notes and pictures and sketches to your output, the ability to combine your calculations into a single document, and in fact, creating your own calculations to supplement the library. And this is where TEDS for Word comes in. TEDS for Word combines all the engineering and calculation power of TEDS with all the formatting and presentation features of Word. In fact, you have normal Word running with all its features, plus an additional TEDS toolbar. There are a number of icons on the TEDS toolbar, but they can be thought of in four groups. There's running calculations. There's dealing with multiple calculations in a single document and creating reports. There's various icons for writing calculations and also a section here for settings and help. And we're going to cover a number of these topics in this presentation. To run a calculation, it's very similar to standalone TEDS in that you launch the library to view the list of calculations that are available, find the one you're interested in, you can preview the notes to see what the calculation is going to do and understand the scope of the calculation. And once you're happy that you found the calculation you want, there is one additional step in that you need to insert that calculation into your document. And to do this, we're just going to execute and that will drop the calculation into the document. There are a couple of options here for how you insert that calculation and we'll come back to these in a little bit. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new calculation section and give the calculation a title. And we'll cover calculation sections in a bit more detail shortly. Once the calculation is in the document, the final step is to run it. And we have a number of options we can use depending on what we're doing. And most of these relate to multiple calculations in a large document. If we just have one, then we're going to use calculate all and that will start at the very top of the document and calculate everything that it finds in the order it finds it. And in this case, it's now firing up the interface for our retaining wall, just like we had in standalone TEDs, and we can make any design changes we need for this particular project. And we have exactly the same high quality output that we would have got using standalone TEDs. This is a live document, so we can always recalculate by clicking Calculate All if we need to update the design for any particular design changes. So the very benefit now of using TEDS for Word is we can actually add our own notes and text, so we can actually customize this document if you like to make it more specific to this particular design by adding any particular notes or text to explain this particular calculation. So in this example, we'll just make a few notes about the, the retaining wall that we're designing. And we can also use other features of Word, such as inserting pictures and sketches to make this calculation even more specific. So we have a clear benefit there of using TEDS for Word in that we can customize our document. The next topic we want to look at is using multiple calculations in the same document. And the key topic for this is calculation sections. By inserting each calculation within its own calc section, TEDS will then treat it as an entirely separate design. For example, you could have multiple beams with different loading and different spans, all within the same document. If you don't include a calc section, TES will use the same data for all those calculations and things will get quite confused. There are a number of options on the toolbar here for calculation sections, which will allow you to cut, copy, paste, delete and edit, and even step from one calculation section to the next. So it's a good way of navigating your document. If you copy a calculation section, it will copy both the output and all the data values. So when you paste it, and in this case we'll give it a new name, all that information will be copied across. So you've got an exact duplication of that first calc section, which you can now calculate and update with the new information. And then we can start looking at some of the other calculation options here, such as calculate this section or calculate from here to end. And then when you do run the calculation, it will just follow the same interface bringing through all the original values and you can make your changes. 
and we're going to get now the second set of output for this particular wall. So we have two walls in here now, the original height and then our reduced height of uh, I think it was 1.8 meters. And now you can see the, the two calculations in the same document, both with entirely separate data and we could update either section now at any time with any design changes. If you know your documents can include multiple calculations, you can actually insert them at the beginning before you start calculating. So for this next example, we'll add a selection of loading calculations. The options we have when inserting a calculation are add to a new document, append it to the very bottom of the current document, or insert at the active cursor position. We just need to remember to give each one a calculation section title. So we'll add some dead loading and some snow loading. and also some wind loading, all on the same page of this first part of the document. We'll also add in a masonry panel design, and in this case, to separate the document out a bit, we're going to append it, but also insert a page break to put it onto a brand new page. So now we have four calculations in this document, and we can choose the most appropriate way of calculating them, whether it's from individual sections, one by one, or from here to the end, or even start to here. As we haven't actually calculated any of them yet, it's probably best to use Calculate All and do the whole lot. And this will work its way down through the document, calculating each of those different designs in turn. So our dead loading, our snow loading, our wind loading, and then it'll move on to the masonry design. So now in this single document, we have the various different calculations, all in the correct order, starting to build up our calculation report. And we could update any one of these designs at any particular time just by choosing the correct calculation option. And it might be nice now just to customize our document a little bit more by adding a table of contents which are automatically linked to those calc section titles. We don't have time to go into a lot of detail here today, but one of the most powerful benefits of TEDS is the ability to write your own calculations. You can simply type straight onto the document without any hidden cells or complex fields to deal with. You follow standard mathematical notation that you'll be familiar with from hand calculations. TEDS is fully dimensionally correct, so you won't have any manual errors trying to convert different units. It follows all the standard mathematical functions such as max and min and sine and so on that you may be familiar with from spreadsheets. And when you calculate, TEDS will calculate in the order that you've written things, which makes it very easy for you or others to follow and to check. And you'll notice that we're getting a high quality professional looking output as we create our design without having to do anything separate for our final report. Your calculations may start relatively simple like this one, but will soon get a bit more interesting. So here's a more detailed one with some descriptive text, notation straight from the design code with Greek characters. It's got a dynamic sketch which will update and multiple different checks for this particular steel beam design. You can even use a wizard here to actually design your own interface, which makes it really easy for you to share with your colleagues. So when you or they calculate, they'll get a pop-up screen, just like you would with a standard library calculation, where you can follow all the prompts. You also have access to a range of engineering data, such as steel section properties. And you can create previews of your results so that you can actually check the design before you complete. And again, you get your high quality output, which is standard for TEDS. It's also easy to add the calculations you've created into your own library so that you can reuse them again in the future without having to manage lots of separate files and documents. These calculations sit alongside those provided with TEDS and run in exactly the same way using all the features that we've been discussing so far in this presentation. You can also share these calculations with your colleagues so they can have access to the designs you've been working on and they can actually either run them in TEDS for Word or if needed in the standalone version. Whether or not you start writing calculations right away, the eventual goal of TEDS for Word is to provide you with an efficient solution for creating comprehensive calculation reports that include everything you need from notes and sketches and your design criteria, your design loading and all your various design calculations. And it's the combination of TEDS and Word that makes all this possible. You can also embed output from other software such as an Excel spreadsheet and of course you can include your photographs and pictures. You can even add that table of contents and finish things off with a cover sheet to complete your final report. 
We hope you found this fairly quick introduction to TEDS for Word interesting, and we look forward to going into more detail on some of these topics in future presentations. If you have any questions or feedback, then please do get in touch. But that's all for now. Thank you. Thank you.